Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Columbia City. So today, this is episode 17, and we're going to be building a bunch of different stuff over here uh, in the area by the harbor, um, or what will be the harbor to, I guess, I guess you could say the south of downtown, uh, if you're thinking Seattle geography. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building two different stadiums, one of which we detail, one of which we don't. Uh, and then we're going to be building a monorail line, some industry. It's going to be cool, but the main focus is going to be this one big stadium right here. So this stadium is actually from the Campus DLC, and I'm not going to lie, it's my favorite stadium the, out there um, for something like this. It's a big football stadium, American football, sorry Europeans. Uh, and it is, it's open, It's. it looks really cool. The texturing is not, like, ideal, but I'm totally fine with it and it populates with people for games and stuff like it's compatible with match day so it's pretty cool and that's like the best i was able to to figure out for uh, this area um and then i also placed the astrodome by crystalisto over here we're not going to be detailing that in this episode but we are bringing the monorail line over here so this was actually a suggestion by a bunch of you like multiple people actually suggested that at the end of the monorail line we add some stadiums rather than just nothing because uh, monorail lines are sort of weird um the monorail line in seattle uh, goes between the space needle and uh, downtown uh, here it goes between stadiums and downtown and the story for for that is going to be basically that the olympics were here one year and they really needed to expand transport between downtown and this area and they didn't have a light rail corridor at that time, but they needed to move people from the hotels in downtown over to the stadiums very effectively. So they built a monorail also for the novelty of it. And it's still around, like they're still using it. It's still in service. There are two different trains on the monorail. I might actually restrict that to one because it might make a lot more sense to just have one considering how short the line is. Basically just goes from the Astrodome to the stadium to downtown and then that's it. Um, and there's one line that uh, you'll see that diagonal section that goes from the Astrodome uh, over to the stadium. That, we don't really detail that area in this episode, but that area is going to be sort of in a, an abandoned rail yard is going to be sort of the real estate that was used for that. Uh, and then the other uh, real estate that's used is all going to be above the roads. So the idea is that when this was built, it was built above the roads and in vacant real estate rather than in completely new real estate. Uh, or, or rather than in real estate rather that was um, uh, used by like factories and stuff like the, the idea is it is like they tried to be as minimally invasive as possible because of land values etc because this is going to be a pretty high value harbor once we build it um, which talking about the harbor we're going to be building that at some point uh, in the future I don't know when I I'm waiting on uh, Tim the Terrible's North American Railroad Tracks I'm really waiting on those because they're going to be absolutely incredible, and I, I cannot wait to use them in Columbia City. Um, I want to use them for both the uh, rail yards in the, um, in the harbor area, and then also for the actual train network. So I was asked like when I would be building Union Station in Columbia City, and I don't know. I need to wait on those railroad tracks because they're going to basically be completely transformative for me. Uh, and they're going to have the correct gauge, and they're going to be very detailed. Um, Jay was basically talking in the stream about how they're going to be way better than rail Railway Mod, just for us North American builders, um, who are building like stuff like Seattle or, you know, uh, some sort of Northeastern city or anything like that in North America. Like, the, this is going to be a really good addition. For your European builders, I mean, you're going to stick with Railway Mod stuff. Um, and, you know, like, whatever, Japanese builders, probably going to stick with Railway Mod. Um, stuff like that, like, but North American builders, uh, we, we're gonna have some North American railroad tracks that are gonna be really, really amazing, um, hopefully pretty soon, um, so tip the terrible, I, uh, I'm waiting, because those are gonna be amazing, um, but, but yeah, so anyway, uh, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, is, like, when we build the, um, when we build the railway line, uh, I'm trying to figure out where it's gonna go. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. One thing I do want to make sure I do is that I add a Coast Starlight um, stop. Uh, so I, I don't know where Columbia City is theoretically located. I, I really don't know. Um, but 
the way the game mechanics work, I can make a line from the edge of the map at some like random fake station to Union Station with it terminating at Union Station and not going any further where it's, um, you know, Coast Starlight Trains, uh, if I can find some in the workshop. But um, I don't know if I want this to be the terminus because Seattle's the terminus of Coast Starlight, um, which if you're not aware is sort of the Amtrak line. Uh, that goes from Los Angeles to Seattle and then stops at major areas along the line. Uh, you know, you've got like Slow, you've got Sacramento, you've got not San Jose, you've got what? I, I mean, you've, you've got Portland, Salem, um, like areas like that. Um, but I, I'm not I'm not sure where Columbia City is geographically located. Is it south of Seattle? In which case, that would be the uh, like it wouldn't be the terminus because it continue north to Seattle. Is it north of Seattle? In which case, I guess Seattle would really not be the terminus like it is in our like actual reality, and the terminus would be Columbia City, or maybe somehow it extends to Vancouver. Who knows? Um, that that's a uh, like a question that I want you guys to answer. So like, what should we do when that co when it comes time to do that? Should should we consider Columbia City to be north of Seattle and have it be the terminus? Um, or should we have it be south of Seattle and have it just go through Columbia City? Um, your choice, because I really don't know what to do for that. But, yeah, well, I ranted about that one for a little while. Uh, let's see, what next? Um, okay, I, I wanted to ask you guys, so I'm considering doing a special sort of video, whenever I feel like it or whatever, where I record bike rides. Because, so I'm like a road, like, I, I commute on my, on a, on a road bike, but I also, like, ride a road bike as a hobby. I'm one of those people that you see at a coffee shop in very tight cycling clothes and a ha, has the, the expensive bike. Well, my, my bike's not too expensive, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm one of those people. Uh, and so I'm, I'm a, like, I'm a road cyclist. I've got uh, some roads here in Orange County that are worth riding. Um, and I don't know if they're good videos on YouTube out uh, showing people riding those roads, um, for example, Santiago Canyon, Silverado Canyon, Majesca Canyon. Uh, so I'm wondering if you guys would want, like, if you would maybe watch or be okay with me uploading just, like, GoPro videos of me, like, riding through the canyons in Orange County. Yeah, another thing I wanted to talk about is my upload schedule. So my upload schedule is pretty, like, inconsistent right now in terms of, like, I, I generally have been uploading two videos a week, but... Uh, when those are uploaded is sort of up in the air. So usually it's been like Wednesday and Saturday, but I'm thinking about changing that um, and uploading as like possibly three three videos a week. Uh, I'm at least gonna try it. So this video is going up on a Friday. I uploaded a video on Sunday and I uploaded a video on uh, Wednesday as well. Sunday was New Windsor, Wednesday was Columbia City where we built the bike lane. Uh, but I'm considering uploading this video, I mean, I'm gonna upload this video on a Friday, then I might upload another video on Sunday, uh, and then it might get inconsistent moving forward from there, but trying to keep three videos a week or so, you, you can let me know, but, uh, like, just tell me, because I think I'm gonna try that, but if I do that, what days would be best? Just, like, give me a three-day schedule that, that would be best for you. I feel like Friday and Sunday and sometime during the week, like, probably, like, a Tuesday or a Wednesday would probably be good because it allows, um, everything to be, like, spread out a decent amount, but then for me to get both Friday and Sunday uploads in, um, rather than just doing, like, Saturday and Thursday or something, so I get, like, weekend days for you guys. Uh, so you can watch them right when they come out. And I'm going to try to, like, hopefully do more, like, premieres. So, like, when the video first comes out, you're able to, like, talk in the chat. And I'll be there to answer questions as the video goes on. And then people can, like, refer to the, the live chat if they've got questions or, or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, you can let me know what days work best for you uh, for that. But I think uh, I'm going to try to do three videos a week, which is, sounds absolutely insane. But I also have nothing to do right now. I literally, like, all I have to do is sleep, read ride my bike, walk, um, city skylines, and schoolwork once that's happening again, although two of my classes require basically no work and the other one is now online, so yeah, what? Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty crazy. I, I don't even know what's going on right now, I don't think anybody knows what's going on right now, but uh, I did ask you guys in the last uh, video like what was going on um, near you and, you know, where you were in the world, and I got a bunch of responses, and that was really interesting, because I've sort of got, like, a unique opportunity to just talk to you guys, because, um, 
you guys are from everywhere, like everywhere. I got comments from like Italy. I got comments from South Africa. I got comments from, you know, Indiana, like everywhere. Um, so yeah, like it, it's, it's pretty crazy that you guys are just all around the world. I like, I, I know considering we've got like 30 something thousand subscribers now, but like it, it's still hard to wrap my mind around that like whenever I upload a video it just goes out to the sub boxes of people in like totally different countries just all all around the world that's that's pretty awesome well like it's especially awesome considering uh, this this insane time we're in and being able to connect with um all of you guys and just know what's going on like I get a whole selection of like what's going on in just normal people's lives like all across of the globe so that's really that's really cool and i recommend like if you if you want you could go and um check out the comments on um that video uh if if you want it's it's in the top right corner of the screen uh maybe just wait until the video is over and just hit the top right corner of the screen and then you can go check the comments out there uh but like it, it's really insightful to see uh what's going on uh in all these different parts of the globe just in one comment box that's that's really cool so yeah thanks for sharing guys um but yeah, okay, I have been just rambling on about a bunch of different stuff, uh, but I, I want to actually quickly talk about sort of what's going on in game right now. Uh, I guess just quickly, because I haven't done it yet, I want to show you guys some Google Earth footage. So this is based off of the uh, stadium area that is south of downtown in Seattle. Um, I believe this is called the International District, um, this area around here, but I'm not sure. It is a really, and you guys can let me know there, but it, it's a like really industrial area sort of where the downtown transitions into industrial but you've got these two different stadiums one of which has a real track going by it uh and you know king street stations right next to it that's century lake field and then you've got t-mobile park um sort of to the south of that but um i'm i'm doing instead of those two i'm doing this this big football stadium which i guess would be the equivalent of century lake field and then i have the indoor astrodome um, which is not really, it's, it's not like T-Mobile Park, because T-Mobile Park is a, uh, baseball stadium. It's, uh, it's a different type of stadium, so that's, that's basically what I wanted to achieve there. Maybe we'll build a baseball stadium somewhere else in the city as well, but I wanted to have two stadiums sort of concentrated together here near the industrial, sort of like you have it in Seattle, because I thought that was pretty cool, and I, I hadn't really considered doing that before I saw that. But yeah, so let's see what, what we're doing right here. I'm not I'm trying not to detail this too much, but I'm covering up some imperfections I see in the um, in the football stadium here because it is yeah once again like it's vanilla. Um, well, it's from Campus DLC I believe, and it it's got a lot of imperfections like they're parking lots that are just like randomly under the, like it makes no sense. So uh, I am I am covering that stuff up with. Uh, planters and then putting trees in the planters. I'm also making like a little park around here So this isn't gonna be exactly like the um, the area in uh, Seattle because I'm adding a lot more green space than there is there But I, I really want to emphasize green space in the city. So that's sort of why I'm doing that um, And yeah, like it, it's it's shaping up here uh, I will add more green space around here like we'll probably do even even though it's sort of industrial we'll probably do some small parks uh, in this area. I don't want to make it as industrial as it is in Seattle. Like it transitions really abruptly in Seattle from um, downtown to the industry area. So I want to make it uh, a little bit, a little bit smoother. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm just sort of de detailing the front here, but so this front area here, I'm like, it's not too detailed and I'm not fully happy with it, but I feel like it's going to look a lot better when it's surrounded by other stuff. Um, like, once again, I'm trying to make a huge city here. Uh, like, I sort of have the mission of, you know, like, $2.20's Marble Mountain to make a huge city, except I've modded it way more than he has. Um, and so I'm not going to be able to do that to that same degree, but I really have to balance detail and uh, scale here to a great degree. And I don't feel like I'm doing it well enough in most of the city. Um, so I'm really trying to not add too much detail here just only what's necessary because i'm not gonna look at this like i'm just gonna like maybe take cinematics like of the stadium like overlooking downtown or something but like i'm not gonna look at the front of the stadium here like it doesn't really matter too much so that's why i'm just adding like ground cover and random stuff and it, it looks fine that's all it has to look um anyway let's hop in game i'll show it i'll show you how it actually looks in game and uh we'll take a look 
All right, folks, we're in game. Let's take a look at what we just built. So the stadium here is really cool. And look at this. It overlooks downtown like this shot right here. I didn't even plan for, but it looks really, really, really cool. And you'll see like a cinematic shot of this at the end of the video. And then this is the thumbnail, obviously like that. I, I love that. Um, what else do we do? So, so the stadium has like some green space around it. It's got like kiosks. It's got some shops here with like subway and stuff like that uh, and then just some random detailing around here i honestly didn't put too much effort into that and i won't put too much effort into a bunch of the areas around here i did put a little bit of effort into this industrial area over here because i haven't done like detailed industrial stuff in a while and it looks pretty cool it makes no sense but it, lo it looks cool like all the industry i ever built uh, I, 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 that i've ever built rather like i literally just place random industrial props um and just hope it looks good <laughs> um so over here we have the, the taxi depot uh, of some sort. It's just basically like some temporary taxi depot or something, or I don't know, there's an abandoned building. Once again, doesn't make too much sense, but it looks really cool. Um, then we've got parking structures over there, over here, and parking lots here. I haven't detailed them. This is the monorail line. It goes through what will end up being like an abandoned rail yard once North American Railroad tracks come out. These are just being placed here as a placeholder here. Um, and then monorail stop here here i can actually turn the simulation on you can see how good the monorail looks um these are monorail vehicles by jay who made some glorious uh seattle uh monorails and those are on the workshop you can grab them they look extremely satisfying and i'm really happy to have them in the city so jay good job thank you and hopefully you enjoy seeing them in action in columbia city um, once again, the idea with this is this is a, uh, the, the Olympics were held in Columbia City and you had to get people to and from the stadiums and downtown. So that's the point of the monorail and it's still in service. So there's that. Um, cause like the idea is at that point, like the light rail wasn't really in service to the degree it is now, or even it might not have even been there. And, um, now there's a monor or a light rail rather, but there was no service, no public transport service other than bus to the stadiums and, um, you know, they needed to connect downtown in the stadiums, so they did that. So, that's that. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's check out downtown. I wanted to ask you guys, like, what do you think of uh, the features they're going to add in the um, Sunset Harbor DLC? I am not sure how much I'm, how much use I'm going to get out of it. Like, I never really get an enormous amount of use out of DLC. I, I mean, I still maintain that Mass Transit's, like, the best DLC, probably. Um, that or maybe Park Life. I don't know. Um, and then... Like, uh, this DLC has a couple of things that I like. The fishing industry, I think I'll definitely use. Um, and I also enjoy the, um, what's it called? The trolley buses. So I actually built, like, without any knowledge of, like, the DLC whatsoever, I built a trolley bus line just totally by coincidence, like, last week, using, like, makeshift, um, you know, networks and buses from the workshop that had, you know, like, that were trolley buses. So that like on this street right here so you'll see that in like two episodes but i like had no idea that trolley buses were going to be coming out uh in the in the next dlc so that was that was pretty funny when, when i figured that out like oh i just sort of built that but like we'll replace it and it's fine and it'll look better and function better with the trolley buses from the actual uh game because they're like actually meant to be trolley buses they're not makeshift um, and then above ground metro, I mean, I'm not going to use it in any of my cities. Like I, if I was just going to do that, I just use metro overhaul mod probably. And then also I don't really want to have really fast metro and I want it to be really just light rails that end up going on the street. So I'm using the LRT networks from the workshop by Klus, which are really, really nice and function really well for me and are at good speed. So that's not going to be like that useful for me. I know it'll definitely be useful for like vanilla players and like console players though. Uh, definitely a good addition and then yeah i mean that's like mostly it in terms of um the main stuff like it's just the transport updates are definitely the biggest um next episode i will tell you we're going to be starting the waterfront which i know you guys have been wanting me to do for a while we're going to be starting the waterfront doing some custom road detailing it's going to be really cool um so look forward to that that will be out on sunday so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, it helps out a ton. Helps people find 
the videos and you know expands the reach of Columbia City and um, you could subscribe if you're new around here want to see more I definitely wouldn't want to miss an episode of Columbia City if I were you the city's coming along pretty well and uh, we have a long 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 way to go if you look at the city on the map as a whole um, you could, uh, I mean, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload so you don't miss a video in these insane times. I guess there's nothing to do other than watch YouTube, so go ahead and hit the notification bell. Um, you could uh, support me on Patreon if you want to go and uh, get just download the save game. You could fly around in Columbia City like I am right now. You could build in Columbia City. Um, with like these houses here and just build suburbs or whatever you want to do you could hop in game that is over on patreon i guess there's nothing better to do right now uh, in once again this crazy apocalypse just fly around columbia city and um yeah uh, save game access is over on patreon um you could also get videos early if you support me on patreon you could get your name in the credits lots of cool stuff over there really supports me a lot and uh, allows me to spend this ridiculous amount of time making City Skylines videos um, and building virtual cities and taking virtual photographs and taking virtual drone shots um, for you guys. Anyway, um, let's see, you can follow me on Twitter. I post updates and stuff there. That's, I use Twitter for what people use Twitter for, just go over there. And I also use Instagram for what people use Instagram for, except it's like screenshots of a video game that are photorealistic, like this one right here. Like I'd post something like this on Instagram rather than photos that are actually from real life. I have a strict ban on post posting actual photographs. I just post stuff from in-game, which are functionally actually, like, they're, they're functionally actual photographs, because this is like a photo right here. Like, look at this. Crazy stuff. Um, anyway, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely know, let me know what you're excited for in Sunset Harbor, um, and I'll see you on Sunday for another episode of Columbia City. Thank you.